Hey, so it's 8.30. We're all checked in. They are keeping me warm. They're just getting me all ready and asking me questions and we're having some kind of a drill. <laughs> it's about 10 of 9. I'm scheduled for 10. Lord willing that will stop. Ivy in. We're getting closer. So just relaxing and waiting at this point. My surgeon came in for the consent. Oh, we're supposed to start at 10, but he got a little bit delayed. Probably gonna start like 10.30. It's kind of boring waiting, but I still have to see anesthesia. Hey, it is 11 o'clock. I am in the recovery area. Went back around, I want to say around 10.15. Surgery started about 10.30. Quick surgery. Um, feeling wonderful and hoping to head home soon. But my husband's with me. He's been with me all throughout. Let me see if I can get a little video of him. This is the man who's not only been with me throughout today, but we are coming up on our 25th wedding anniversary. He is a great blessing in my life. Praise the Lord right now. It's about 11.30. Just, uh, Still coming out of the anesthesia, getting post-op instructions, hopefully going to go home soon. 12-12, and we're oh, yes, headed we're home. Here. Hey everyone, so it is the next day. Um, fortunately, I slept really well. Um, overall, I feel very good, except you might be able to tell that I have a terrible cold. That's actually what's plaguing me right now. Um, the surgical site actually feels quite good, much to my surprise. Um, but despite being sick, I really wanted to come on because I wanted to finish this video. There's a reason for that. Um, when it comes to health-related things, I've obviously had my problems, my continuing problems. Um, and I, I tend to, when it's something health related, I really tackle it head on and I want it to be encouraging to other people. I know a lot of people who say, you know, my doctor told me this or that, and it's scaring me. So basically they aren't dealing with it. Um, people can sometimes turn away from things that are scaring them. And I want to encourage you when it's health related, please Follow your doctor's advice. Advice Certainly do your own research, but follow your doctor's advice. You may want to get another opinion. You may want to ask a lot of questions, but don't shy away. Don't shy away from, let's say, a biopsy, for example, like I just had. Yes, it's difficult to go through. Yes, it can be a little bit costly. Yes, I'm waiting for results, and that is concerning but it's better to know than not to know, okay? So the surgery I had yesterday, it was a, well, I think I mentioned before, a colorectal surgery. I can't even remember a lot of those videos from yesterday, but it was a colorectal surgery. It was very quick. It was only about a half an hour, but he did a number of biopsies. We're waiting for those results. And you know what? He thinks everything's gonna be okay, but if something is going on, it's always better to catch it earlier. Okay, guys? Um, I hope you derive something from this video. Um, this is relating to my, I've mentioned before, kind of an ongoing saga because I have had pelvic radiation. So I will probably have lifelong issues related to that. Okay. Just my situation. Um, so be it. It's where God has me right now. I do ask for your prayers for my health and for my test results. Okay, guys, I'm going to go back to lying down next to the cat and the dog. I'm still feeling kind of sick. Love and light. Talk to you later. Bye-bye now.